Oh, well, you look at that. Someone actually bought the Shinobi. Is it stealable? It, it wheelies a bit. I'm not taking it far. I'm just... Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. That feels pretty quick. I know it's not as quick as, say, oh, I don't know, a Kachi Drag, but... It's still pretty quick. I'll just mess with somebody a little bit here. At any rate, it is... Yeah, I'm not getting this, you know, it's like millions of that, two and a half million or something like that. But it is like 7.30 in the morning. And I was kind of going to start this video in the race screen, you know, just going in with that. But then there was a Shinobi, so hey, listen, let's grab content where we can, right? Well, I've popped into my main character because I had so much fun last night with my late night. This is not, this is the wrong agency. This is not my agency. This is Rusty Jack's agency. This is what happens when you swap characters and then you're, it's early in the morning. Alright, you know, let's just go right to the strips trying to get into a race. Jobs, play job, recently played, stunt races, yeah, whatever. It's not going to be the one, I don't think. Search for a job. I had so much fun last night racing with uh, my new Autark. I thought, let's race the other one. And let's see, is there a, much difference in the, the flavor of races? Oh, we got to... Do this. Well, it is Plummet 2. We can just run through Plummet 2 real quick with the new Autark. And then it'll be selected and we'll save time. It does come up quickly in the order. I don't know why. It should be the Lemonade Man today. It kind of goes with the color scheme. Why not? We'll be freaky. Oh, I don't think I ever changed the uh, the color scheme on the bottom lights. We'll have to do that. At some point. This is just a warm-up race. And here, in case you don't know the trick, if you do one race, if you can't find a race, usually if you, when the uh, select screen comes up, rather than picking whatever race you want to do, it seems to me, this is in my experience, that whatever race is in the top left is the one that's populated. I think this one bounces a little bit more with the stock wheels. I put the off-roads on, uh, on the white one, and it seems like... I feel like that was a little smoother. It could be, could be you know... A placebo effect. It kind of like I, I'm just thinking that's what's going to happen. It could be, oh, what's the expression that I'm looking for? When you're basically... You're, you, you believe whatever you, you were going to believe in the first place. Something reinforcement. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that hitting the, the top at full speed. Hardly ever race my Divest 8, you know? So that's the kind of thing where it, it's flying so hard with that 130 mile an hour top speed. 
I did look up the, the top speeds last night. This one's running about a, about a buck twenty-five for the brush. So slower than a couple miles slower than a, a Krieger and a lot slower than a Devastate. But you know, it's PC, so I don't know. But, you know my frame rate's a little bit better. Well, as I'm recording, I think it usually ran around 60. I think I may have had I may have V-Sync on as well. Matter of fact, I do, because the last time I turned off the V-Sync, I had stability problems when I was recording. I have stability problems all the time on this thing, but, you know. It's probably time to take the DC out and hit it with the leaf blower again, but... I did help last time. A ping. Much faster probably than the last time I did plummet. So there's a interesting comparison of, of times if you want to look between the two videos. <laughs> Which I'm not immediately. It's funny what you can do when no one's crashing. Oh, a Mr. ART is on. Are we racing? Is this a thing? Looks like. All right, we're racing with a buddy this morning. Oh, it's going to be a duel here. I'm the host. Let's see. We'll, we'll confirm settings and then auto invite. We'll visit a little bit while we try to get somebody on. Look, not look like there's a lot of racers on this morning. Uh, Mr. Art is not chatty this morning. Fine. Alright, do we want to just go with this? Oh no, we're getting more. I guess we're going. We got four. We continue with the crazed uh, lemonade man look. Eh, yeah, maybe not. We'll, we'll save that for the Autark or forget about it. So there's a Mr. Art. And LGB Junzi. And. Let's see how we do. Let's do this thing. And good luck. Good effect with the, uh, what you call it? The Hikachi drag before. Shatara will take me through the turn, so I should be able.
pull away a little bit. Try to give everybody room. Got a little bit of a glide. Shitaro's got the slip on it, so that negates the, the top speed difference. I, oh, I've done that before. You know, Rockstar, you really... And now I'm stuck. Ah, I didn't want to miss a, a checkpoint. You know, I could feel it happening, too, when, th when that went down. So this is not going to be the same effect as I did last time. Now our, our best hope is that we can try and just try and get a better lap out of it. All right, well, we're making it an interesting view for a Mr. Art, but I guess that's good. What's he driving? Okay, so we pass him in a second. I have no chance after that, that, that other mistake. I have no chance of where I bounce off the walls. I have no chance of a roughy special here with a second and best lap. Certainly no chance for a win. We weren't that far back, actually. All things considered. Not gonna make it, you know? That's so you finish second. So LGB Gen Z is the winner. A carbon RS! I did get the Ruffy special, that's that's mind boggling. What for? Oh, breach too far. I like breach too far. Keep me ready. You're good. Don't need to be apologetic on that. Well, how we get lift off? That was not the one I was hoping for. But we're all tarking it. Do we get a lemonade, man? The lemonade craziness. Probably there's a new car in my auto shop. I'm guessing, but no, well, it's not to, not this immediate problem. I don't know why there'd be two of them. Two beeps. Okay, no, we definitely... Ooh, that was interesting. Go with the custom look. Confirm. Continue. Oh, he wants to be my friend. We can do that. But we 
we're going in here quick. Yay! Lemon. Lemonade liftoff. This was the goal of this, is to use the Autark, so let's see how it does. We're Autarking it, we're going meme. Just bought it. Want to use it. It's a good player is they, they go immediately for that lunge out of the way, even if they're in the front row, you just get some built into you. This could get ugly. Nobody hit me in the air, please. There's an RP. I like the paint job on that on that divest. Hey, that's that's neat. Ooh. I, I hit the brakes so I could I could sense bad things happening. Stayed out of that, so now we're in fourth, then in third. People falling off. You know, the face of the universe. I was hoping this this would be a little less RG bargy as they would say in England. Not sure why so much of uh, GTA racing is, seems to be centered in England. It's, it's a funny thing between Ruffy and Casino Royale. The Bill Race Channel. A lot of England, isn't it? What do you think as far as the uh, the ground effect lights? Do you think I should go green or go yellow? I don't I don't really know. The do yellow and lime green car. Do it, do it, mountain dew. Do it, do it. Oh, somebody, so you got somebody doesn't have the G friend spirit. Okay, well, we're just gonna. Okay, that was floating a little while there for me. Oh, we made it, we're in. The Autark's it's, its strong point is handling, not necessarily turbo tubing. I don't know if it gets a lot of uh, boost from the curves. Though the stock wheels, uh, I would think, we have some help, but not necessarily. You know, every car is different in that respect of how the tires and wheels and suspension allow it to curb boost. Right now I'm just trying to drive smooth, solidify third. That almost looks like on those bumps the wheels are clipping the fenders, so I don't know, that might help. That was a close race. Yeah, I love the paint job on that, Mr. Art. That's nice. I probably would have had trouble with uh, that Devastate if someone had killed it. Just completely yeeted it off the, into space. Eh, yeah, Krieger, that's an expected result. Krieger, Krieger, Autark. I had um best non Krieger lap. <laughs> so Let's see what do we do next? Plumber two would be funny. I'm gonna back up a Mr. Art wherever he 
picks. Is anyone voting? Okay, so there you want to do bikes. Most certainly. Must be a friend of his. Friend requests. If you're nervous about it, there you go. Done deal. Oh, we're biking over and under. Now, over and under, I think we'll show Taro it. See, we're gonna go back to free mode for this because that'll go better with the uh, the Shitaro. And if we're doing a night race, the Shitaro will look cool. More cool paint jobs over there on AMRT. It looks like he's got, he's got a theme going. This is getting narrow. That almost didn't go well. One of these paths is faster than the other. I don't know which is which. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily balanced. This one has a lot more turns, that's why I like, don't, yeah, you can't go around, there's only one path there, it kind of unifies. Let's go flying off into the dirt, otherwise. Ah, oh, that's going to cost me. I pushed the handling a little too far on that. Taro is not a big glider bike, it's not a... And it's not a big top speed bike either, so, you know, it's... We're gonna have to try and be neater in the turns, and the one thing I had to do, being neater in the turns, I did not do there. So... Can we close back in? Taking all that flat out, but we have a ways to go. I think that is pretty neat how you can just ride it on the top of the building. I think he's going to have to make a mistake for me to catch up because I made a mistake. So that's only fair, you know. Exactly the same thing. Why did I not learn?
Well, I think that second place secured there is the best we can do. Get down on it. I've hit those before. You think, well, it's just a hose hanging down. No, it's as solid as a rock. Oh, we're not doing bad, but we're not winning. Should we take the philosophy of if you're not the winner, you're first loser? I don't know. That still makes you first, doesn't it? Yeah, first loser. Oh, we were really, we really weren't that far behind in the end result. Yeah. Can't imagine it's a Bruffy special though. Someone's gonna have a better lap than that. Winner left. I wonder if it was by choice. Sometimes things just disconnect. We got a little bit more money. Just a little bit more money, honey. Just need a little bit more money, honey. Loser. Well, there you go. There you go. It's <laughs> he definitely had the best lap. I do not. Okay, what we doing, gang? Hopefully not that again. We doing the big drop? Okay, I'll, I'll back you up. Whatever. H2O you have to be in the right mood for. What do I take? I, I don't feel like taking necessarily the the meta on this which would be the goat without any kind of question I, mean, I could take you know any number of things that's just well, I've lost Mr. MRT I wonder where he went. Huh. Oh, well, we can invite my... But we're going. It's just a duel. Alright, maybe we do need to go meta on this. This is this is the part where, you know, you start losing people. I you know, we haven't run the Calico in a while. I know it's been nerfed. Don't think I don't know what I'm doing, but that's I, you know, I'm just going for what would be cool and interesting. And we'll, we'll see if it still runs as well as it used to. Now nah, it's been nerfed. It gets a pretty, I think it's like it's a pretty good boost on the, on the curb, so we'll try it. We got our calico here. Against the Felser, interesting. Acceleration's always been the party piece on this. He'll get... He'll get burned down by the uh, ketchup, of course. Well, it's been a long time since I've driven the Calico. I thought, hey, you know, it's time. There you go, see this? Top speed wise, whoa! Yeah, the catch up I think was really melting me there. He almost didn't make it. I was using, you know, I was using the brakes. I knew Calico's not. It's gonna push through these turns really hard. But then you hit the acceleration.
more than makes up for it usually. But well, with the catch up, you can hear just the engine sounds like it's full of honey. I hope we make the jump. All right, we good. Some cars you put the catch up on, they don't make, make the jumps. Matter of fact. I wonder if that's why they got rid of the Issy races, because there was one particular, I forget what the heck the name of it was, where there was a big jump and if you if you were in the lead in a stock car, might be if you're in the lead in any car, but it would not make the jump. It would slow those things down so much. They were so affected by catch up. You couldn't complete the race. You had to be in second to get out of it. So what would happen is is you'd crash, someone without catch up would make the jump. And then, oh my goodness, we're not making it! Catch up has ruined us. Now, has catch up ruined him? No, probably not. He's not in the same car. I'm not making this jump. Calico, how badly did they nerf you? Yeah! I'm not making this jump. Big drop, there's a few cars that'll do that. Okay, let's try going for a bit of more of a run up. Got DNF. Okay, so mental note: don't take the calico on um, big drop, especially post nerf. I don't even know if this guy speaks English, but you know, hey. It feels faster there, doesn't it? Maybe because of the surface, it's getting more, more, uh, curb boost. Well, that was a DNF, but I mean, not through any fault of my own, except for the car selection. But I'm glad I learned that. See, we all learned something today, and isn't that just a wonderful thing? No, oh, you don't think it's wonderful. Oh, fine. It's broken. He's out. You want to try? Should we try big drop just to see if we can get a different crew in here? If it's just us, probably backing out. I'm saying, hey, it was a good run. Good run races. Well, 
Let's see something. Is Mr. Oh, we can't even look at the menu here. Let's see. If, is uh, Mr. Art still uh, on the online doing something else? What do you think, guys? You think we're loading a race, or you think we're just dumping right out to the street? No one racing on a Sunday morning. I, th I have to say, I think the the last set of races, you know, with the uh, the Autark were better. It was a uh, there's some more, way more excitement in the last video, but this was it had its moments. It had its moments. I don't think it's having any more moments. I don't know. Maybe we'll load into a race with like you know sixteen people, but yeah. I don't think so. So don't bring a tuner to Big Drop. That's going to be... Because the Calico can't make it. I can't... Man, maybe... Maybe the Jester RR could. I don't know. But that's that's a close thing. My new rules is we always bring the goat to, to the goat or the pariah. Make sure you clear everything. Although it's weird because I mean, you know, I don't think it's that new a track. Something like, you know, the venerable King Elegy should be able to make it. Now we're dumped out. What happened there? Goods battle cargo. How did you get how did you get launched into the air like that? The clucking bell farms now. I don't feel like hitting the clucking bell. Clucking bell's way out there. Let's let's get back to let's let's get back to like a safe position here. We'll go back over to the auto shop. We'll take a look at the the losing Calico here and see if we have any cars in for. Uh, can we balance it? I never thought that was going to work. <laughs> Alright, I think this is a good enough place to end it. That's that's better than what I could have hoped. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.